Today on Engineering Newswire, we're pouring beers with robots, preventing disasters with a floating gate, and riding a $1.3 million motorcycle that was designed to cut costs? <laughs> Honda is set to unveil a new production model of motorcycles by the end of 2013, and they only cost $1.3 million each. You know, chump change. The RC213V 1000cc V4 will have a level of power that will make it competitive in the 2014 FIM Road Racing World Championship Grand Prix MotoGP class. The bike will be very similar to the RC213V bikes currently ridden by some of the top guns in the racing industry, though it will have conventional valve springs instead of pneumatic valve actuation, a conventional gearbox, not a seamless quick shift gearbox, as well as different brakes and suspension. It's true that this bike was designed to save money. While the target price of the new CRT machine is expected to come in under $1.3 million, the cost of the current bikes dances around $4.5 million a season. And at the end of the season, teams have to give them back, because that $4.5 million is just the leasing fee. At least with these production machines, you'll have something to show for your money at the end of the season. You know, besides your many trophies, because you actually get to keep them, which is great, if you don't end up crashing during a race. And it's pretty in the sky. But he's fine. Here's your $1.3 million pile of junk. Researchers at Cornell's Personal Robotics Lab have created a robot that can predict human action in order to step in and offer a helping hand. Understanding when and where to pour a beer or knowing when to offer assistance opening a refrigerator can be difficult for a robot because of the many variables it encounters while assessing the situation. Such is not much of a problem for most college students, but these guys are engineering robots, so it's hard to say how much drinking they'll have time for. Ah, thanks. I needed that. Using a Microsoft Connect 3D camera and a database of 3D videos, the robot identifies the activities it sees, considers what uses are possible with the objects in the scene, and determines how those uses fit with the activities. It then generates a set of possible continuations into the future, such as eating, drinking, cleaning, or putting away, and finally chooses the most probable. In tests, the robot made correct predictions 82% of the time when looking one second into the future, 71% correct for 3 seconds, and 57% correct for 10 seconds. Right now, the researchers are almost hard-coding the responses with algorithms, but future research promises a way for the robot to learn how to respond to unpredictable human behavior. Toga! 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 Since the devastating earthquake and subsequent tsunami crippled Japan in March 2011, engineers at Kyoto University and machine maker Hitachi Zosen have worked on developing Flapgate, a flood prevention system that actually is powered by the disaster. It takes human error and fatalities out of the equation and neutralizes problems typically caused by power outages. Flapgate is installed into sea walls to block tsunami and tidal waves. It can also be used at building entrances to prevent flooding from torrential rain. Here's how it works. The gate is affixed to the seabed or ground. Normally, it lies flat and can support foot and commuter traffic alike. But when a surge in water reaches the sea wall or building, the flap gate automatically rises. Once it's up, the water pressure and buoyancy keep it held in place and the water at bay. The board is made of a proprietary resin that currently supports spaces up to 10 meters wide and 5 meters high. But the key to this design is the fact that no humans are put in danger. After the tsunami, many volunteer firefighters lost their lives attempting to close sea walls manually after power outages knocked out remote controls. With this new design, engineers hope to prevent any further loss of life during natural disasters. After a year of mechanical design, fabrication, and testing, Makani Power, a company recently acquired by Google, has completed the first ever fully autonomous flight of a kite power system. The Makani AWT is a tethered autonomous wing fitted with onboard turbines for power generation. When not in flight, the device is stowed on a perch, but when the wind speed at 200 meters reaches 3.5 meters per second, the device unfolds, positioning the wing for launch. Flying at 1,000 feet, the system mimics the motion and speed of a conventional turbine's aerodynamically effective blade tips. The AWT operates like a wind turbine. 
Air moving across the turbine blades forces them to rotate, driving a generator to produce electricity, as much as 600 kilowatts for utility scale generation at a cost below conventional solar and wind. Due to its speed, the tip of a conventional wind turbine blade is the most effective part and is responsible for most of the energy produced. The AWT takes advantage of this principle by mounting small turbine generator pairs on a wing that itself acts like the tip of a traditional turbine blade. I just hope keeping this thing in the air isn't like trying to kite surf. And it's pretty in the sky. But he's fine. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For pd and TV, I'm Megazimba and this has been your Engineering Newswire.